Hello ladies and gentlemen, Tyler the Cossack Spider here playing some more Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. This is my second attempt at the Golden Gun series. Yes, I am bringing the series back from the dead. We haven't seen it since Black Ops 2, but it's back. And I hope to get through all the guns this time. Last time I only really got through the SMGs and nothing else. But this time I really, you know, I want to hammer it down. I want to get it. I want to be that Golden Gun guy that you guys rely on. So, I'm going to be... Um, not only golden guns, but diamond guns and royalty guns. I am excited to see what royalty camo actually looks like. I'm not going to look it up until I unlock it. I like surprises. I would really appreciate it if you guys didn't ruin it for me. But to each their own, whatever. So, how are you all doing? I hope that you guys will enjoy this video. Today we're going to talk a little bit about the AK-12, right? Because that's what we're here for. We're here to see the gun, although I'm using an SMG right now. We're here for the AK-12, and I just want to talk to you guys about how I use it and really what you guys can do to get better at using it. It's a really simple weapon to use, really simple. Can't go wrong with any attachments at all, really. Um, it's, it's really low recoil, really high damage, really slow rate of fire. So it's kind of like the perfect recipe, except you know, I like a higher rate of fire gun, but whatever. I, I really have been enjoying this AK-12. Some attachments that I suggest, it really depends on, on what game mode you guys play. If you guys are a Team Deathmatch player, your attachments will be different than mine, or a Search and Destroy player. Or I'll tell you what I've really been enjoying lately, is that one game mode that's kind of like Capture the Flag, but it kind of reminds me of Quidditch. I don't even know what it's called, but I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. That game mode's fun. Um, but let's talk about free for all because that's what I'm playing right here, and that's what I play a lot of. And I'm sure a lot of you guys also play free for all. It's a really fun game mode. If you haven't played it, give it a shot. If you dare, if you're good at holding your own. Uh, but what I use in the free for all game mode is definitely a suppressor. It's all about staying off that mini map because you don't want people knowing where you're at. Obviously, you have I don't even know. I think it's eight people, so you have seven other people looking for you to kill you. <laughs> right, so you want to stay off the minimap as much as possible. So I use a suppressor. I don't know if in this game mode, or in this particular game, I was using the parabolic microphone attachment, but that's also a really, really good attachment for free-for-all because everybody's using silencers, and if you just have that microphone attachment, they pop up on the minimap, and if you're anything like me, you're always up there looking at the minimap, seeing where are people at, you know, where do I need to go? So. That's a really good attachment. I think I have the foregrip on. You really don't need it. That's a waste of a spot. It, uh, no gun in this game really has the recoil to justify that foregrip. They really just don't at all. That's kind of the sad truth. But I am using also the quick draw handle, which I think is really important. The quick draw handle on the assault rifles is just... you. You should always use the quick draw handle. It makes sure that you are up as soon as you're done sprinting, and it makes it to where you raise your gun up high, see through it, shoot. It's just, it's nice to have on free for all because you're always kind of running around looking for people. And so when you find somebody, you don't want to get outgunned because you can't pull your gun up quick enough. So, it, it, I just like it. I, I enjoy it. Um, as far as the reticles, this gun does have a fairly small iron sight, as you can see. And it's kind of difficult to see through, you know, longer distances, but... It's, um, it just kind of depends, because I have two AK-12s. I have an AK-12, I forget what it's called, like Gunner or, um, something like that, whatever. It basically has, like, an open, open iron sight instead of the closed round one. It's kind of like the AK-12 from Modern Warfare 3's iron sight. And it's a lot easier to see through at distance, so, I don't know, it just kind of depends what AK-12 you're using. Uh, right now I'm just using the regular old AK-12 that everybody has. And so I, I probably would have thrown on a reticle get a red dot sight or something just because it is easier to acquire your targets at a longer range but you know whatever I I try to use the iron sights as much as possible to save me that one you know attachment slot but if you really can't get you know get by these iron sights then yeah you can obviously throw an attachment like a red dot sight on there but that's it guys for this episode I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you guys subscribe if you guys want to see all the guns golden just hit that subscribe button I mean they're gonna be here they're going to be here at one point or another, I, and I'm thinking weekly. I'm thinking every week I'll upload a, a new gun, and I'll tell you why. Because I could easily get uh, all the guns golden in you know a couple days. It's really not that hard at this point. Um, but 
it's the diamond that's gonna be a pain and I really don't want to upload all my golden gun gameplays and then have like this huge block of space in between my diamond gun gameplays so I just figured a week a week between each upload is not that bad guys I hope you guys could survive that long but I am the cosmic spider and I will be signing out for the day guys I hope you guys enjoyed your stay here please make sure to hit the subscribe button once again I love you guys and I will be talking to you guys later peace yeah.